All right, y'all. Don't be mad at me because honestly, I just was trying to upload a vlog that consisted of the past three days. However, it didn't happen like that. I'm thinking I'm air dropping it to my iPad so I can upload it and chow. I thought it had airdropped and I went ahead and deleted everything, right? And then I go to upload it and guess what? The shit never airdropped. So because I done deleted everything, I have nothing for you guys now. Wait here, you just took my selfie stick. My pink selfie stick. My grandma bought me. You ain't using it. I do though. But you ain't now. Nah. Hello. Anywho, what Jada? Can we get right back to research these four people real quick? Sure. So, since I deleted everything and there's no way to get it back now, you know, I just delete. got... What? What'd you delete? I deleted the vlog from the past three days. What'd you do that for? I did it by accident. You must have been half sleep. No, <laughs> I uploaded it. I thought I airdropped it on my iPad and I didn't. And I had deleted everything else, so start fresh with y'all so my apologies however let me just sum it all up friday we got snow and i had a late start friday because i told y'all i don't roll with the snow so i ended up going to the gym and i worked out for like two hours saturday morning got up with mr long and we went and we worked out together and then we had a date night and we went and saw revenant and we went to bahama breeze We got home Sunday. I didn't do any vlogging, period. And then this morning I got up and I started vlogging, and I was just catching y'all up on the weekend. So, my apologies that this shit didn't work out like I quite wanted it to. You know, I was gonna update y'all on all three days, however, I guess why you gotta follow up and check your issue before you go deleting stuff. So, forgive me. So, because I have some Q&As from the Wife Diaries, I'm gonna have some grown woman talk with y'all. So, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm back. Now, I told y'all I was gonna come back and we was gonna have grown women talk, and we are. Now, I told y'all I am a part of the group Wife Diaries, and I'm also a part of a group on Facebook called The Marriage Club. Now, The Marriage Club be kinda like off the damn chain. However, you just never know what you might see in these groups. However, The Diaries is definitely like, my spot if you guys if some of you have become members in the diaries you see like they talk about real life ish that happens in marriage and it ain't gonna always be peaches and roses and everything ain't gonna always be like send the damn roller okay marriage is real and you just never know any day you could wake up and your life can be completely changed by the decisions that you or your spouse may do so First up, I have some some people that I'm like really interested in meeting when I do attend my first Wife Diaries Wives Night Out. And that will actually be next month. In the process, there was some discussion going on in the diaries over the weekend. And it was just some things that I thought would be good topics to talk about with y'all. This is what one of my favorites asked. Or she ain't asked, she made a damn statement, okay? And her name is Quinna. She said, do y'all know that in a marriage, if you don't give your spouse's rules, things flow smoothly? Well, I wrote about something like this before. Unless he or she is giving you reason to make rules fall all the way the F back, okay? Get off your husband's back. He married you for a reason. Cool out, y'all. Y'all make y'all husbands run away when it comes to rules. Respect him and most importantly, respect yourself. You come first. I would run away if I were y'all husbands. And if you've forgiven him for whatever, then stop babysitting and let him live. If you have to babysit, then divorce. And y'all, she said this in all caps, divorce. Now, I already told y'all before, I've never been the one to play tit for tat because I don't believe in what you do to me. I need to get you back like that. No, to me, I just feel like every dog got day day. And you know what? I'm going to leave it to God 
to, to, to fix it or to lead me in the direction that I need to go. So with that being said, y'all, this was Stephanie's reply to her comment. And this is what I said. The only rule in our marriage is if we don't agree, don't shit happen. 21 years later, it's still the only rule and it's never mentioned. We just know. So when I say, you know, asking uh, family members or friends and stuff, asking for money, that's a no. If we don't agree, what's the rule? Don't shit happen. Uh, like when it comes to like big purchases, if we don't agree, don't shit happen. And it has been the only rule that James and I have had in our marriage. Yeah, you know, there are those unspoken rules. Like, like you know, you're going to respect me. You're not going to talk to me any kind of way. But we don't have to say stuff like that because we do respect one another. Therefore, the only rule, if we don't agree, don't shit happen. And it works for us. It may not work for everybody, but it works for us. So, if you're somebody that y'all got all these rules to being married, and like I said, you never know what the situation may be. If you say you've forgiven somebody, it's true they say you must forgive plus forget in order to be blessed. And if you can't do both, then you might need to like reassess your decision or reassess your relationship because you can't keep throwing old shit back in people's face and con and expect that y'all gonna continue to grow and move forward. It's not gonna happen. And I know a couple of people in my life that are tit for tatters and like they never let shit go. They never. That's why they always keep having problems. Moving on to the next question. Does anyone borrow money from their spouse? I don't understand the concept. Someone I know, they cell phone got clipped and she had to borrow the money from her husband to get it back on. Well, she like, I'm gonna just pay him back when I get my next check. I was just looking like, what the fuck? He's gonna wanna talk to you when you aren't home, right? Well, here we go again. Like I said, what works for some marriages don't work for others. And that right there, that borrowing shit, that don't work for me and James. That don't. Uh, we have had this conversation with other couples that are friends of ours. And y'all, when I say it turns into like a debate, it does. Because they look at me and James like we crazy. Like we foreign or alien or something, okay? Because all of our money goes into one joint account. All of our money is pulled together. Uh... I know that may not float everybody's boat because sometimes people aren't responsible enough to balance checkbooks. Sometimes people, you know, play over the money and don't take care of priority and take care of business. Uh, you have some people who just like the fact that, you know, what I earn is mine and what you earn is yours. However, in a marriage, like I said before, when you get married, you're no longer two people. You become one and a lot of people just don't get that concept and I think sometimes that can be the problem or it can be like one of the main reasons in a relationship why you feel like you can't trust people and you feel like you know you're not growing well sometimes you got to try things that you're not comfortable with in order to truly know if it's gonna work for you. Like I said, some people do have problems when it comes to their um, managing their money. And on that note, I guess I could understand. However, I just have never had those problems. So it's like, I really can't relate. So like I say, you know what? I don't knock nobody that, do, that does it differently from me. I just do what works for me and mine. And yeah, our money stay pooled together. Okay, okay. Next question. Third call from school about him not doing what he's supposed to and him acting out. So, those new shoes, that polo, them Levi's just got traded in for these $10 specials and Faded Glory polos, okay? Y'all know what Faded Glory is. That's Walmart, all right? All the way. Whippings ain't working, so time to try some new tactics. Now, 
I told y'all, I have been dubbed the punishment queen, okay? Because I can get real creative when it comes to a punishment. Now, do I think I might be slacking on my skill? Yeah, and that post right there definitely made me start thinking of some different, more effective ways to punishing. And I'm gonna just tell y'all this. Y'all can ask Jasmine. Yep, Jasmine was in seventh, eighth grade, I believe. And Jasmine got in trouble at school. Y'all already know about her life spells she was having and yes I made her ass with the same outfit for a whole freaking week same shirt jeans panties shoes you name it whole week now nah, the panties had to get washed because clearly we ain't gonna be walking around smelling like you know who done it right but anyway I just am a firm believer and sometimes you got to get down to the root cause of what your children love. And I can tell y'all what my teenager that lives with me right now loves, Jordans. Yes. So you know what? I have to take it back. And so you know what? Next time little Miss Thing get in trouble, I'm collecting them all. Okay? I'm collecting all the J's. And you know what? Sometimes when you pull their flyness away from them and things that they feel like other people pay attention to, you know what? Sometimes that can be effective all within itself. So when that mama said... She trading them Levi's, them J's, them polos for faded glory. Do you, boo, and you got to do what you got to do to get your point across. And sometimes, that's how you get your damn point across. Do you feel me? Advice, please. Had a conversation with the mister about romance. The answer and the reason he gave me for him not being romantic is, number one, I'm not romantic. Number two, I'm not a girly girl, meaning I don't wear makeup, I like rocking my hair faded, and I love my sneakers. In a way, he kind of hurt my feelings, but I guess I can understand where he's coming from. So what do I need to do to be more of a girly girl? Okay, well, the first thing first, she said, he told her that she's not being romantic. All right. That's understandable. You know what? Sometimes when you've been married for a while, you fall off the wagon. However, you got to know how to get your ass back up and jump back on board, okay? Now, if you asking your man to do something that clearly you ain't doing, check yourself. Check yourself for real, okay? Because also, you he said that you're not a girly girl. All right, I'm going to tell y'all, mascara, lip gloss, and, you know, just the grooming your eyebrows go far, okay, if you're not a chick that likes to wear makeup. Them three things will get you far, okay, and it's a great start if you're not a makeup wearer, okay? However, you know, you rock your half faded. Y'all see my girl Jazz? Jazz rocking a fade and a brush cut, and she wears that shit, okay? So, with adding a little bit of... Of, you know technique with them little makeup essentials you'd be surprised at what you can do and how you can look with a fade okay and as far as wearing sneakers honey they do make sneaker wedges sneaker wedges okay lift the booty a little bit with a little wedge sneaker you can still be cute and you still can girlify those elements about you you can't ask your man to do something that your ass ain't doing, okay? And first of all, you can't be just telling them, oh, you're not romantic. And as soon as he do it, guess what? It don't mean shit because you had to tell him. Y'all ass better learn how to hint, hint. Sometimes you gotta use subliminal messages. Sometimes when you're sitting down watching TV or watching a movie with your man, be like, oh, that shit right there, that's that's cute. That That's cool, I'm feeling that. You gotta drop hints. Cause honey, it, I'm sorry, but it's not effective on me. If I have to tell my man to be romantic and then oh, a couple of days later, his ass done did a romantic gesture, it don't mean nothing, y'all. It don't mean nothing. Cause I had to nag you to get what I want. So sometimes we gotta be subtle in all of, in our approaches and I'm going to tell y'all, the only reason I can give y'all this advice is because been there, done that, and yeah, that shit didn't work. So you got to learn new tactics and new techniques. Yeah. I'm a veteran, y'all, and I'm still a work in progress with my marriage. I'm still trying to, you know, it's just like you got to keep the spice. You got to keep it spicy. You got to keep it lively. And that's when you got to do them things that your man don't expect. And guess what? Nine times out of ten, when you do what he don't expect, you 
get reciprocated. You'll get it back tenfold. So what you put in, you may just get out. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? Okay, okay. And on that note, y'all, I will holler at y'all tomorrow, same time, same place.